everyone this is Becky welcome to my channel and I'm gonna do an easy DIY today for Valentine's Day or any day actually the one I'm using is a mug sleeve it comes like this and I bought this at the dollar store at the Dollar Tree and instead of wrapping around a mug I want to wrap it around a vase I also using some ribbon I'm using pink to go then the colors are my mug sleeve, which I love because it does this, as you can see, changes. They have it in different colors also. This is already some, a piece that I already had, but if you don't have any, uh, they're a dollar. That will cost you a dollar. And the vash is a dollar, so pretty much for three dollars you will get this DIY. And of course some hot glue, and that's about it. Now, I already went ahead and cut the pieces. I measure them and we're just going to glue them like that so let's get started I already have put some here but I have to stop the video <laughs> okay here we go and then the first one we're going to do is I want to put the longer piece I just got it in half the piece that I have I had and we're going to glue it like that and I'm hoping that this will work if I put it right in the middle we'll see when it comes time to make a bow and then, oops, let me add more hard glue. I think I'm just doing this the hard way. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to do this. Let me move it a little bit more there. More. Okay. Right there. Alrighty. That will work. And now we're going to do the other side. So this side is done. Well, that was pretty easy. And I like to do easy things because I know not everybody uh, is a crafter. Some people are really afraid to craft. So I think if it's something simple and easy, it might get people in the mood to go ahead and just give it a try. And once you do that, you'll realize there's nothing to be scared of. And if you fail and it doesn't come out nicely, okay, you can go ahead and do it again. I have done that so many times until I get it right. Let's see, and not like that. So that's done. That's what it looks like. There it is. So now let me get my my vase, my vase, my vase. I don't say vase. So I don't know. <laughs> we share away, right? And we're just going to wrap it around like this. Kind of does like a ballerina skirt. So I tried to figure out if putting it this way will work best. And this is the, yeah, that side of it. Either this way, if it'll work better this way, or maybe this way. So let me figure it out before I tie it. See how it'll look better. Okay, maybe this way. All right. So now, all I'm doing is time to try it. And I will warn you, I'm a horrible bow maker. I really am. Then it takes me, I don't know how many times just to get a bow right the way I actually like it. Maybe I should wait until this is completely dry. <laughs> oh, I think it'll work like this. Okay. So I got it and now I will make my bow. Here we go. Um, I have to cut the ribbon because the bow is too big. Okay, I need to make it tighter. Or there we go. So there it is. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare, but there it is. I think that looks cute. That is the back. So all I have to do is I told you. <laughs> I like great at making bows. But I could also just make a nice knot. Let me, make, let me try to make this more presentable. And of course, I will cut them. But that's it. Easy to do. I'm going to cut the ribbons a bit. But that's done. So I like that. And now let me see what it will look like for flowers. And I have some pretty flowers also from the Dollar Tree. Let me do this. They're coming out with some really pretty ones this uh, this season. 
So I was personally surprised. And of course, you're going to buy flowers on the Dollar Tree. Make sure that you examine them and that they look that they're not fraying. Uh, the leaves also, because sometimes some of them are fraying or they look like they went through the machine and didn't bear very well. So you, have to, you do have to examine them before you go ahead and purchase them. But there it is. This is what it looks like. Let me bring this up so you can see it better. So here's with the flowers. And actually, let me put them up high and show you, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I don't think it'll look better. And there it is. So that's what it looks like. I think it came out pretty. I do have to cut this, <laughs> it's too long. But I think it came out pretty. I like that. It's really easy. If you want to embellish your vases, uh, you can do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Ask, tell me, let me know if you tried this before, if you've seen someone else doing it, or if you would like, like to try it. It's really simple, even if you're not a crafter, it's really easy to do. So I encourage you to go ahead and get out of your box and maybe try doing something cute for uh, your decor now for Valentine's spring, or maybe even to give it to a BFF for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. Until next time, this is Becky signing out. Have a very blessed rest of your week.